Black jerseys, little squib kick, and it's taken by Hamilton at the 19, not Hamilton, that uh, was the up man, Garrett Patterson, who returns it over the 35. He picked it up at the 29-yard line. On the kick coverage, Brennan Mogul for the Homer Center Wildcats. So Penn's Manor will take over. We'll call it the 37-yard line. Nice tackle by Mogul. Grabbed him at the ankles and tripped him up. Did have a gap if he, if he uh, was able to avoid that. This is, uh, to me, Mark, is an important test for this defense. They have got to show they have an ability to slow teams down, even stop them, uh, which we haven't seen so far. Split backs behind the converted guard. That's right, converted guard Jimmy Leitner, and jumping on the right side is Jake Ciani, and that'll be a five-yard mark off on the Homer Center Wildcats, something that plagued them last week, if memory serves. And again, <laughs> it's a sign of being aggressive and wanting to get off the ball. But you got to be under control. You know, you hate to give up five yards right off the sweat. So first and five. Defensive move for Homer Center. They slide Trevor Malacker up to a defensive end position. Freshman. Justin Walbeck gets to start. He's their leading tackler. Give around the left end, and with the footballs, the super sophomore leave had been good running room into Wildcat territory as a flag flies at the 49-yard line, so we'll see if the play stands. It was good for a first down. Leave tackled by Kobe Doherty, and Coach Page says it's on Penn's Manor. By the way, congratulations to Dimitri Lee. I handed him his trophy for the IRMC fan favorite of the week for week one, he really liked it. There'll be a picture up on our Facebook page and congratulations to last week's winner. Getting the most votes was Logan Onkst of Northern Cambria. Boy, there were a lot of candidates oh, there's been so deserving last 